Hello everybody. In this video, we will learn about using blend shapes in Maya. In my previous video, I showed you how you could make variations from a base mesh. And here are the models that I created. It's important to note that because these meshes were all derived from the same original mesh, they hit they have the same vertex count, face count, and so on. This is important. To demonstrate blend shapes, the first thing I'm going to do is select my blends. And then the last mesh I want to select is my base mesh. And with all these meshes selected, I will go to Deform Blend Shape. I will apply, and now that it's applied, I'm going to hide all my uh, meshes that I've created as blends. I'll select them and uh, put them into the same layer so that I can uh, quickly hide them. And I'll put my base mesh in another layer. Okay, with all my blends hidden, we'll take a look at my base mesh. Nothing out of the ordinary here. However, if we go to the channel box under inputs, you'll find a node called blend shape one. And if we select it, we can see its attributes. Notice that its attributes are actually named after the meshes that are the blends. And if I change the value of those attributes, it takes on the form of those blends. Zero indicates no influence. One means 100% influence. Notice that I can even manually input a number above one to put even more than 100% influence onto the mesh. I can even put a negative value in, uh, and it will do the opposite of whatever that blend is. In other words, this is not my tall blend shape. This is the short blend shape, but at negative 100%. I'll quickly test out my other blends. We have the tall blend shape the skinny blend shape, the big blend shape, the strong blend shape, and the cartoony blend shape. Remember that the name of these attributes is actually coming from the name of these blend meshes that I created. I named them these names. One of the powerful features of blend shapes is that we can combine them. I can combine, for instance, the cartoony with the big blend shape, or the cartoony with the strong blend shape. Blend shapes are oftentimes used in games so that a player can customize their character. Blend shapes are also frequently used in animation, in particular in facial animation. We can create blends for different emotions, uh, as well as phonemes, visemes, in previous videos, I have told you that you should, most of the time, periodically delete the history on your meshes. This is one of those rare situations when we do not want to do that. If we delete the history on this mesh, we will lose its connection to the blend shapes. 
So that's an introduction to blend shapes. I hope you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.